showing that India can not only send objects to the moon but also bring them back. ISRO has successfully brought back the Chandrayaan 3's propulsion module initially intended for lunar operations to Earth's orbit after surpassing its lunar mission objectives. This marks another achievement following the lunar hop by the Vikram lander showcasing the capability of reigniting engines on the mood and controlling equipment. ISTO first decided to extend the module operation life and leverage its remaining fuel for future lunar missions. And after carefully planning and maneuvering the propulsion module's trajectory was adjusted to transition from lunar orbit to Earth orbit, avoiding potential collisions with the Moon or Earth's geo belt. Latest that we are tracking on the broadcast, uh, if I could quickly just show my viewers the visuals that I have here on my screen. This has been released by ISRO. Uh, if I could request my crew to quickly pan into what I have on my screen. Um, meanwhile, uh, Group Captain V N joins us on the broadcast. Uh, he's a former Joint Director DRDO. Uh, good morning, sir, and thank you so much for joining us on NewsX. Um, requesting my crew to quickly go back to what I had on my screens. All right, thank you so much. Of course, sir, now we have a pictorial represent representation on our screens of the detour made by Chandrayaan 3's propulsion module. Uh, of course, uh, this is being told, this is an, a unique experiment, uh, the transition from the lunar orbit to Earth's orbit, and, and it, it is in fact a reflection on India's cosmic feet. Uh, what do you want to say about this? Uh, now, of course, we have visuals that are coming in. Uh, as the time passes, we will know more and more about it. What we know right now is uh, the propulsion module had completed its objective uh, of the lunar insertion. See, the propulsion module's main objective was to carry the lander, that is Chandrayaan 3, into the uh, lunar uh, orbit, circular orbit, and from there release it for the landing. After that, during the landing process and during the experimentation, uh, the propulsion module also carried the ISDN network, that is the uh, Indian and International Deep Space Network, for the communication to be established with ISRO, and that purpose also was served uh, very well. Thereafter, it had uh, you know completed all its object uh, objective. There was one more instrument into the propulsion module, that was the shape, that is the. Uh, the spectroscopic uh, polarimetry of the Earth's uh, near infrared, uh, uh, you know, wavelength, NIR, that we call it. With that, we know how the temperature, that is the infrared uh, spectrum, of the Earth keeps changing as it makes the circular path uh, of the or the or the orbit of the Sun during the various process. So. This process was going and it is still going on. I understand the propulsion module has come to the Earth's orbit at a very high uh, uh, altitude, around 1.2 kilometers of the perigee to about 3.6 kilometers of the apogee. That's we understand right now. With that, there will be no danger to any of the satellites orbiting Earth, whether it is the low Earth orbit middle earth orbit or even the geostationary orbit geostationary is at about 36000 kilometers so none of those satellites will be affected also at the higher altitudes like 1.2 kilo, uh, 2 lakh kilometers of the perigee there is hardly any decay in the uh, satellite that the propulsion module which will happen in the coming months and years so it will continue orbiting in that orbit and possibly if there is a fuel still left in the propulsion module, uh, ISRO will try to bring it to uh, some sort of control with, uh, uh, with which as and when it decides that it should come down uh, and enter the atmospheric uh, uh, re-entry process, uh, it should be able to maneuver. Otherwise, this uh, particular uh, propulsion module will continue revolving around the Earth for maybe years, maybe many years. And still, 
that uh, uh, scope uh, uh, um, uh, part of the sensor will continue working. It will continue taking the mapping of the Earth's uh, warming as it happens in the near infrared spectrum. So compliments to ISRO, but all this could have been planned uh, in the Chandrayaan 4 when it comes back for uh, coming back to the Earth with the sample of the lunar uh, rocks and the soils uh, when it comes. Uh, that will provide much more information, much more control in planning of those maneuvers as and when that happens. Right, so absolutely. It could have been uh, planned in Chandrayaan 2024, but don't you think uh, with this uh, unique experiment that has taken place, doesn't that make uh, this happening in Chandrayaan 4, doesn't it uh, make it more compact? Don't you think it will be a success for sure? Oh, yes. Look, what is happening is once you are in the lunar gravity, uh, like uh, propulsion module was in the uh, circular orbit of uh, moon in their uh, polar orbit, uh, it can come out from there very easily. As I told you earlier also in the morning, that moon's escape velocity is very less. It's just about 2.3, 2.4 kilometers per second compared to Earth's escape velocity, which is very high, about 11.2 kilometers per second. So leaving a, a moon's gravity is not much of a problem with very slight burn of the, the you know, any model or satellite or craft uh, to leave the lunar gravity. It's pretty easy. And with that, you can always, I mean, that, that can always be grabbed within the gravity of the Earth. Uh, at those altitudes and come back to the Earth's orbit as and where you decide. Of course, there is a problem of collision with, uh, uh, you know, the numerous satellites and the discarded debris orbiting the Earth. That possibility is there. So ISRO has to be very, care very careful for its Sandhyan 4. As in, when it comes back to the Earth's orbit, it has to uh, enter the Earth's gravity and descend down in, an, in, a, in a manner that it avoids collision with anything else because it is a very precious thing that will be coming back to the Earth. So it will have to enter the uh, Earth's atmosphere when it will go through those temperatures of about uh, 2000 odd degrees Celsius. It has to withstand that uh, particular temperature and then finally come down uh, in the atmosphere, deploy its chute, uh, decelerate further and then either land on the, uh, the ter terrain, whatever terrain it is objective for. Mostly it is the splash down into the sea. So that is what it will plan. So it's a, you know, a, a step further towards Chandrayaan 4 as and when that is under the planning. Right, so absolutely. And if we just talk about this experiment that has been conducted, of course, we have luckily, um, you know, there hasn't been any collision, so to speak. It, 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 it is turning out to be a very smooth experiment. But what are the chances? Has India really outdone itself? Is, is this a very complicated experiment? Look, everything which comes to the Earth's gravity will finally Finally, it will come down to the uh, uh, re-entry uh, process of the Earth's atmosphere and when it will burn out in case if the skin of that craft or the satellite is not designed to withstand those uh, temperatures. So finally, it will come down because that decay will happen, but that will happen over the years and the decades because it is at a very high altitude where there is no uh, you know, uh, air molecules at all. So it will continue uh, orbiting the Earth at those altitudes. I think I understand the perigee right now is about 1.2 lakh kilometer and the apogee, the furthest point is about 3.6 or 3.8 lakh kilometers. So this is the reality right now as it stands there. Again, in case if ISRO wishes and in case the fuel is there beyond 3.6 kilometers uh, apogee, it can be reintroduced into the lunar. You know, those possibilities are always there. If if the chances are there, if the possibilities are there, there, and if ISRO wants to draw any more of the experiment in the lunar insertion. So all those possibilities stand right now. But I understand there is just about 100 odd, there was just about 100 odd kg of the 
fuel left into the uh, into the pro uh, propulsion module with which it has come to the earth's gravity it has been captured by the earth's gravity and it will remain there for uh, years if not decades so wish isro all the best and also suggest that as and when it has to uh, crash into the uh, earth's uh, uh, atmosphere during the reentry that should be preferably controlled modulated so as to avoid any uh, collision with the existing satellite and uh, it is safe for all practical purposes for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon